Hello, tarantulites. Okay, so uh, everyone was asking, whatever happened to the whole tobacco, uh, the whole uh, fiasco with the uh, 200H uh, Lexus uh, hybrid incident or whatever? Okay, so I'm going to tell you now. I had um, a uh, stomach flu for three days, so I couldn't make the video. Anyhow, so I bought two and a half months ago a Lexus 200H hybrid car. I was looking for a hybrid because I was paying a million dollars in gas a month and my car, as you know, I got in a big accident so I needed a car. So I bought a hybrid from a Lexus dealer and it was a Lexus thinking, oh, they probably have really good reliability and I'll buy it from the dealer. That way it has some kind of warranty and protection rather than some, you know, crazy guy in the corner. Um, is this thing? Or is that me? Oh, okay. Um, rather than some guy on the street, you know, selling used Lexus. This should be certified and blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm here to tell you that just because you buy it from an established uh, dealer, first of all, you should be looking at the Yelp reviews, even though at Lexus they're all, we don't care about your Yelp reviews. Yeah, you want to know why? Because for every positive one, there's like 20 negative ones. So that's why they don't believe in them. Anyway, I should have done my research. And I should have done my research to know that just because you buy it at a dealer doesn't mean that it is um, going to be with some kind of warranty or, or something like that because they uh, I bought it as is. And as is meant there was no kind of warranty, no kind of nothing. Who knew? You know, you go to these dealers and you think because it's a dealer and it's a used of their car, it's going to be overlooked. Well, they sent, sold me this wild uh Chinese young boy racer car. It was lowered. I would scrape on everything. They didn't tell me that. The wheels are from 2013. They didn't tell me that. You're not supposed, they're nine years old and you're not supposed to sell a car with older than five year old tires. Well, this is nine and I don't know why they didn't go, they're not getting in trouble. Hopefully, someone in the consumer hears this and cites them or something because that seems illegal to me. Anyway, like an idiot, I bought the car. I needed a hybrid. It looked cool. I thought, oh, I, you know, it's going to be like a rich suburban Chinese uh, lady, you know, all smooth and everything you touch and everything goes and runs and it's fabulous, blah, blah, blah. Well, it turned into be one of the first cars I've ever bought. It's a 200H Lexus hybrid car, 2014. No wonder they stopped making them because it's a piece of crap. Anyway, um, so after two and a half months, we went to Palm Springs, and it, the, the motor was making all kind of noise or whatever, so I'm like, oh, that don't sound good. Took it back for a diagnostic. They said that uh, it was, I paid 220 for them to look over the car and everything and tell me what was wrong. Well, they returned my car dirty after I waited from 7 in the morning to three in the afternoon so it's like almost eight hours and um they let me see five yeah eight hours so they um they're normally supposed to uh wash your car for you which they did and they said sorry we didn't have time and then they returned my car with no water i'm like so what kind of inspection is this that you return my car with no water when i took it home i double checked everything and found out there was no water in it, the damn thing could that have been the noise? I don't know. So, anyway, I talked to the service manager. He, oh, he said he was my best friend, blah, blah, blah. Then I was going to, uh, then they sent me to test drive some other car. They said, you know, my car is a piece of crap. It's better that, uh, you know, I turn it in. If, but for a trade in, I would go from a $13,000 bill to a twenty two, and my monthly would be like six fifty a month just for the car. I don't know. Anyway, and I did fall in love with the Infinity. That might be my next car. Anyway, so yeah, they didn't help me at all. I ended up taking it to my niece's, uh, where he works at the, um, the Whittier a Toyota. Whittier Toyota, that's where to go. And if you can, ask for Roberto for the mechanic. He is amazing on fire. I idolize him. I worship him. If I get a pet rabbit, I'm going to name it after him. Um, he 
he fixed it up. He totally, they had the old wheels on, right? And they put the wrong uh, screws, lug nuts they call them. They put those, he hooked it up with the other one. He drove it around. He connected it to a computer and said, oh, these, these numbers are wrong. So he re-diagnosed everything, um, checked for watch, checked everything. Oh, and raised it. He put new coils on that. I that I paid for, but you know they gave me a really, really, really good deal, like almost two times less than I would have paid at the Lexus dealers. Plus, he did all this other stuff, and now the car runs like a dream. I'm still a little bit mad at it. I'm there like, eh, I'm not into Lexuses. And I am really not, and do not go, and do not let anyone that you know go to the Lexus in Cerritos. They suck. Look at their Yelp. They're not there for a reason. I normally don't rant on that, but, it was, you know, it's an expensive thing. I need a stupid car to get around town. Was that my first pick? No. You know, I'd rather A8 drive a vintage ride, of course, a 50 Cadillac or 47. Uh, 1947 that is um but if not you know some other car I don't know whatever but I just bought it because of the hybrid and the gas and every time I travel it's like a million miles and I pay like thousands of dollars a month just in gas so I thought oh well I had I need a new car anyway I might as well go there I might as well go to Lexus which supposedly had a really good name which doesn't in my book or Lexus Cerritos which really doesn't have a good name in my book they really suck and, um, but a Toyota, Whittier Toyota is everything. So if you're ever in the neighborhood, Whittier Toyota. But, um, yeah, well, that's the drama and that's what happened. And so I hope, you know, this was enlightening. I hope I help somebody if it's, read the contract. If it says as is, that means there's no warranty. Well, there was a warranty. It was three miles, I uh, know, um, three months or... 4,000 miles, but I drove 6,000 miles, so the warranty was no. And that's why I didn't buy the other warranty, because all my other cars I've ever bought a, a warranty, and I could never use them when I needed them. They're like, oh, no, you had to have crossed a, a elephant stampede in, in, in the year 1979 in, in a Rodeo Drive, driving a pink Cadillac or whatever, something crazy. I never met the standards, so I stopped buying those things, and I thought, I'll just pay for it out of my pocket, and this is what happened. So anyway, I hope this was all entertaining, And but, you know, it's just a heads up. Don't go there, and if you do, you've been warned. Uh, Lexus, I don't know. You have to do your own research. I, maybe I just bought a lemon. I don't know. They don't make it anymore. It's not a good sign when car dealers don't make you know, a certain model anymore. That means it wasn't that good. Um, and, you know, because everyone was asking, here's the follow-up on that. So, anyway, go to shoptarantula.com, buy something so I could pay to have my car uh, fixed on again. And uh, keep rocking and support all your local designers and events. Okay, till next time. David Contreras from Tarantula Clothing, signing out.